Hey Miss Hunter, it's Trina Monica. I've been keeping up with your blog for a minute now, MissHunter.com, and I wanted to do a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and feature you on my blog. For those who aren't familiar with who Miss Hunter is, could you tell them a little about yourself? Um, well I guess mainly, most recently, Miss Hunter would be, um, I'm, I'm Charmon, um, mother, friend, sister, daughter, all of that. That's, that's who I would say Miss Hunter is. Right. So I saw one of your tweets saying that you used to be one of Chingy's backup dancers. <laughs> I wanted to know, what are you doing now as a career? Are you still dancing? No. Um, I mean, of course, I still have it in me as a passion. Right. You know, I, I was with an agency out here in Los Angeles. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I am still with them, but I've just kind of, you know... Took a break. Gracefully bowed out of the line, right? Yeah. Um, right. So, um, I'm not dancing. I mean, not like as a profession. Mm -hmm. So, that's just, I guess, something now that would be considered like a hobby more than right. a job. Got it. Yeah. So, how has the entertainment industry impacted your life? Um, I guess you could say, I guess you could say a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I started elementary junior high high school i've always went to a performing arts school right um so you know it's pretty big it's pretty much been around me all the time like all my friends now mm -hmm. everybody that i'm most likely close with has you know some some type of relationship in the entertainment industry or right. know someone you know also so you born and raised in los angeles yeah Born and raised in Los Angeles, California. Right. And you mentioned that you went to a performing arts school. In high school, was that Hamilton High School? Yeah, Hamilton. I went to Hamilton. I actually started um, I actually started at, at a smaller school called Downtown Business. It mm -hmm. was like a fashion school. It was like a magnet right. in downtown LA. But that kind of wasn't the road that I wanted to go <laughs> down, you know, being in high school. There was no football team, no basketball team. It was just really small probably about a hundred right. kids so 10th grade my sophomore year I um, enrolled in Hamilton High. So speaking of fashion you also have your own line her favorite and recently you did a collab with Fresh Crew for those who aren't familiar with Fresh Crew could you tell them a little more about that and if you have any upcoming projects with her favorite? Mm -hmm. Well her favorite um, well actually that's good that you mentioned it we're actually brainstorming on that right now mm -hmm. um as of right now it's an accessory line that i was doing i was doing custom you know sunglasses right yeah perfect. i saw angela simmons with your shades on right yeah she that was actually a funny story how that happened but yeah mm -hmm. um i ran into her at magic in la and she like wanted to buy them off me they were i was actually wearing them that day and she's All like right. I want them how much just just sell them to me. But yeah, um, her favorite was just an accessory line that I um, came up with. Mostly right. custom, like I said, you know, just adding adding custom pieces to pieces that were already made, pretty much. Um, and soon, probably winter, early, you know, earlier right. next year, we're going to have some new stuff coming. Um, not to be specific, if it's going to be accessories or clothing or right. what it's going to be, but it'll be back beginning of the year. Okay. What are your favorite pieces in your closet right now? Um, my favorite pieces, I would probably say, of course, my uh, vintage, my dim cut-off jean shorts. Everybody that knows me knows that those are my, my, right. favorite, my favorite piece, one of my favorite pieces. Um my denim button down just shirt that I wear over everything. Mm -hmm. um, probably this shirt that I have on right now, my uh, my Marc Jacobs tee is nice. one, of, one of my favorites. You know, I'm just a simple girl, probably and probably all of my J's. Mm -hmm. I don't really I don't really do heels and <laughs> only, only on special occasions. Right. So you live out in LA, how's the LA life out there? Um well it's it's not it's not what's on TV, um, right. like the whole it being Hollywood and fake and, you know, that's just, usually that's 
the people that come from somewhere else that come to LA, that's usually how they act and people, you know, get that vibe from them. But most people that are from LA mm-hmm. are real down to earth. Um, I mean, it's fast. There's always a lot of stuff to do. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. stuff to us out here is not that big. We see people that, you know, that are so-called famous every day, just right. wherever, the grocery store, the mall, all the time. So, you know, L.A. is just, I mean, I guess being born and raised and right. bred in L.A., you know, it's, it's nothing big. It's not a big thing to me. Okay. And my last question is, what's, um, what's your advice for young adults trying to pursue their dreams? Um, basically just to go out and do it. As long as you have, you know, a support team, support system, that's all you need. All you need is to drive the idea. And from there, you know, you can pretty much do it. It, Anything is possible. You could, it's really nothing that you couldn't do as long as you want to do it. So just, just do it.